G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I'm down the workshop. It's cold, but I got the heater going, so that's made it bearable. It's quite good. Now, this little motor that I reviewed recently, like yesterday, there's a few things on it that I want to improve, and I'm going to work my way through them. But first off, the rank is the starter poly and it doesn't really fit the rope very well there's not enough area for the rope to wrap around and I'd like to see a, a slot on the end so you can start it with a T-drive so I made up a T-drive this morning just knock one up that's a roll pin bit of steel rod bronzed onto a uh, a driver for my uh, works electric screwdriver which I hope will spin it over fast enough to start it if it doesn't I'll just have to put it in an electric drill but I think this will probably be enough it's be quite handy to use and the only thing to do now is to mill a slot to take the, the two dogs in the pulley which comes off like that a couple of grub screws holding it and uh, yeah so I thought I'd show you while I do that and then we can try it and see if it works I think it should if it doesn't work with the cordless screwdriver it'll definitely work with electric drill but it will make it a lot easier because you'll be able to start it without pulling the thing sideways and it's got not enough mass you know so this is job number one moving on right to do this i'm going to take off the chuck and put the collet chuck on and i do this many many times even though i've got a collet chuck in the old shoreburn sometimes it's not practical to use it for certain jobs in this case i'm going to be milling and i'm going to be using the the tool post uh, mount for the little drilling milling head I've got for this lathe so I have to use the Chinese lathe but once again this is another example of why you don't want to go too big with your lathes for home use particularly if you're going to be swapping chucks around the last thing you want is a big heavy bloody chuck now this is a five inch chuck the biggest chuck I'll go up to is six inch and that's enough once you get over six inch, you're going to struggle. It's gut busting to change chucks, or you have to use blocks under them and slide them, and it's a lot of frigging around. So yeah, small lathes have got their big advantages as far as usability. You can easily swap over the chucks. It's no big deal. You could do it ten times a day if you had to. But you try that with a big, big lathe, you're going to absolutely spew. Okay, moving on. Now when you tighten up draw bars like this to hold the collet chuck in, you don't go berserk and tighten the bejesus out of them. I see people do this quite often. They tighten the things up like doing up car wheel nuts. That's bullshit, you don't. All you do is just nip it up, tight, you know, just tight, it comes in a bind, and then just go, you know, fifth of a turn if you're lucky. That's all you have to do. And just think of it like this. How much pressure is on the tail stop when you put a dead or a live centre in there? Very little. So, I mean, if that's going to grip, well, sure as hell, you don't need to pull the bejesus out of this to tighten this up. Otherwise, when you're going to release it, you're going to unscrew it and you're going to beat the shit out of it to loosen the taper again. And that's doing no good at all to your head spindle bearings. It's going to do, you know, bad things to them and uh, that's why you never ever over tighten draw bars okay moving on
Right, let's see if she goes. Perfect. Perfecto. Yep, great. Right, she's back together. Conditions on. Let's see if she goes with this. I'm not sure if it's got enough power, but we'll try it and see. Not enough guts. Okay, let's try it with an electric drill. A bit more, a bit more herd. No problem. But the exhaust is leaking. Mmm. It's popped the end off of the uh, little muffler thing here. Oh well, no problem. It started. It's easy. No, really good. Really good. Try it again. So that's pretty much straight out exhaust. <laughs> it actually sounds better with a straight out exhaust than that little muffler. I might do away with the muffler altogether and just put a, a brass straight out pipe on it. That sounds pretty awesome like that. Okay, that's enough playing around. I'll see you next time. Cheers.